I'm Barry Laminac, and this isn't what happened in sports. From the world of the NBA, the Los Angeles Lakers are set to take on the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals this year. The Lakers and LeBron James are heavy favorites to win yet another NBA title. This will be James's 10th NBA Championship Finals with his third team. That's three cities. Only drag queens have brought more pride to more cities across this country. James has made more finals appearances than the student taking exams for Lori Laughlin's daughter. Surprise, surprise, the Miami Heat won a game in this year's NBA Finals, which means LeBron James's vacation is now his hairline. Push back a week. After the Bucks were knocked out of the playoffs, Giannis and Tedekumpo unfollowed all of his teammates on Instagram, so damn, they got eliminated twice. Coach Eric Spolstra of the Miami Heat was teary-eyed during his post-game interview after the team's loss to the Lakers. Spolstra told the media with tears in his eyes, I don't want to go home to my family. <laughs> the Phoenix Suns are reportedly interested in trading for veteran OKC point guard Chris Paul. The age gap between CP3 and the current Suns roster is so wide, the team is considering turning to you into an O. Doc Rivers is expected to return as the Los Angeles Clippers head coach next season because in the future, they want to have some consistency in their disappointments. Speaking of disappointments, the Denver Nuggets overcame a 3-1 series deficit to beat those Clippers and advance to the Western Conference Finals. There hasn't been a pair of Clippers this disappointing since Kevin Durant went to the barber. A bartender on TikTok claimed that Clippers players rented a strip club and gave her $20,000 in tip. Wait, James Harden's a Clipper now? There hasn't been this much careless spending since last year. The party was supposed to last until 2 a.m., but all the players left at midnight because, you know, early exits are their thing. I see Kawhi is now practicing blow your load management.